Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Today is a houseplant tour. I am so excited to jump right into it. Last summer I did something similar where I did a houseplant tour towards the beginning of summer, so like spring, and then I did a follow-up towards the end of summer and it's really cool to see how my my plants grow over the growing season. This is gonna kind of document where we are a little bit before the growing season. I already have some really exciting growth and updates. I think it's gonna be a really fun video. I have about a hundred house plants and for reference I live in the east coast of the states. I live in Philly. That's kind of like where my window directions are and everything. With all that being said let's just jump right into the video because I have a lot of plants to get through. <laughs> As usual, I did not wash my plants beforehand. I didn't water all of them. So you're getting very <laughs> raw, good and planty right now. So let's just jump right into it. And I'm gonna start over here. First stop on the tour is my, oh my gosh. I just remembered I'm gonna have to remember all of the names of all of my plants. <laughs> but this is my Neon Pothos. She's very cute. She's starting to vine pretty well. Adorable. And then down here, we have my Maranta, which is doing so well. She had some mealy, okay, let's not get, that's not cute. She had some mealy bugs, so she is a little bit isolating over here, but she's really liking it. She put out this cute little flower. Let's focus. Cute little flower. And she's looking really good and healthy, so nothing bad to say about her. I think she's recovering well. I also have this ZZ plant here. I got this plant from Ikea, and she's doing pretty well. I keep her in pretty decent light. So I always forget to mention her because she lives on this side of my room, but I do need the stool under her. So <laughs> before I forget, I just wanted to share that I do have this cute, succulent, beautiful ZZ plant. So I'm gonna steal my little stool. First top shelf on my big plant shelf that we have to go through. There are so many plants in here. First up, we have the String of Hearts. She's doing really well. She's obviously getting pretty long. Yeah, she goes down to like almost, oh my gosh, she almost has like one shelf left to go. Anyway, yes, yeah, String of Hearts. We have a cute little escargot begonia tucked away in the back. It was not doing well, so I had to like cut it down quite a bit. Here we have my Hoya Australis. She's all over the place, so I can't get a good frame of her, but she's there. I have my Haworthia pup. I have a Peperomia burgundy ripple that's doing okay. I repotted her and she's a little cranky about it. Over here I have the Peperomia peppermill. I love that she's doing this little like tree bushy thing. I love when Peperomias do that and I think it's so adorable. I'm in love. And then over here we have my string of pearls which is also doing really well. Like top down light is doing everything for this plant. It's thriving. <laughs> So yeah, that's the top shelf. While we're up here, I'm gonna give a little shout out to the Scandapsis Pictus over here. Uh, it's really dark. Maybe I can get a better angle of it later, but I gave her a big chop in one of my propagation videos. So she's a bit short right now. Moving down on the plant shelf, we have my Syngonium erythrophyllum. She's doing so well. You can see all these new little leaves coming out. I'm so excited to see her do well this summer. I've been waiting. We have my Begonia Medora, which is just growing completely out of control. I need to get some bamboo stakes and stake her up and maybe even propagate her a bit. She's like taking over. Over here, we have my Begonia Maculata cuttings. They're rooting really well. I need to pot them up like semi soon. This could definitely take some more time. My Begonia Rex that I still don't know the name of. She's doing incredibly well. Like. Look at her, she is so big. <laughs> she's taking up, she used to be crammed over here, now she's like taking up the entire shelf, it's so cool. The Philodendron Silver Sword, the love of my life. She's definitely thirsty, <laughs> you can see how like limp her leaves are. 
and how I shared on like the prop update. That's her new growth point. I'm so excited. The Peperomia Frost with a very, very wonky flower. I think it's so cute. I hope it doesn't fall off because I'm really in love with it. Also very thirsty. Cats being a bad plant mom. Okay, moving down. We have the tail end of the string of hearts and this Tradescantia, I think, fuzzy purple or something like that. She's doing cute little puppy baby. Puppy, oh my God. Syngonium pink splash with this new growth right here. It's gonna be pretty pink, I think. Kind of excited. My Peperomia pink lady, also a favorite of mine. I love this plant. It used to have more of the like silvery leaves that you can see towards the bottom, but ever since I put it under the grow light, I'm getting so much pink. <sighs> my philodendron painted lady it will not stop growing and the leaves are so beautiful like look at this shape i'm obsessed with this plant and just like always popping out new growth it never stops this was a newer leaf too just the markings on it is so gorgeous it's one of my favorite plants i think this oh my god i forgot its name i looked it up i can't remember but it's doing so well oh my gosh it's a cane begonia i know that much and i did a video on like the recovery of this plant and it's doing so so well i'm super proud of it and i love i love how new begonia leaves come in they're so funky anyway doing really well and then all the way down here we have my ahoya carnosa crimson queen the white is on the outside we have a couple little tendrils going on you can see in the back so and like the roots are starting to poke out of the bottom you can see so maybe i'll repot it this summer i'm not quite sure Another Rex Begonia, I don't know the name. Also another thirsty plant, who's surprised? This I'm actually so proud of because all of this growth is from under my care. I only got this leaf in the mail. So this plant has grown a lot under me. Sorry for <laughs> keeping you dehydrated. Over here we have the purple passion plants doing pretty well and the Hoya pubic calyx. This is like the, the Hoya with the wild tendril that's just like going wherever. I have another wild tendril coming out, but there's a lot of new growth. Like this whole tendril is new with new growth and it's like super shiny and cute. Okay, so we actually kind of breezed through the plant shelf pretty fast. That's what it looks like right now. Up here, this is a better angle of the Scandapsis pictus and here are some of the leaves growing down the side. And also, before I forget, I have my philodendron Florida ghost up here. Super beautiful plants. Ta-da. I do have one of the leaves ripped off. Where is she? Oh, right here. I ripped off a leaf. But the, the petioles are so beautiful on this plant. Okay, moving on, that's kind of like this section of my plant collection, and now we have all of this to get through. Oh god, I like don't even know how to approach all of this. It's just like a pile <laughs> of plants. Okay, I think I'm gonna go like up and then work my way down. Here we have the Hoya Carnosa... What? Hoya Carnosa Compacta. <laughs> And this plant is doing so, so well. First of all, it has grown a lot since I first got it. I think like when I first got it, these were maybe like here. Clearly a lot of growth has happened since I first got it. These two little tendrils right here are new. So I'm so excited to see some leaves pop out of there. So this plant is doing super well. It was like a slow start, but now I think it's really happy. Look, oh my God, it looks so good. Uh, Golden Pothos, kind of thirsty. I don't know why, but she loves to grow like all in and out under the pot. She doesn't want to grow down. I'm sure eventually the weight of the vines will train her down, but like, I don't know. I don't know why, but she's curling in and stuff. Uh, one of the two snake plants that I have, a holiday cactus. I think that's a Thanksgiving cactus. I want to say. And my cute little Haworthia that I love so much, but she gets neglected because 
She's in a macrame hanger all the way up here and I don't know. I hope she's doing okay. Love you. Okay, and then we're gonna swing back around. Here is, believe it or not, there are bulbs in here. This is my Oxalis plant, my Oxalis triangularis or the purple shamrock. Waiting for that to come back. Hopefully it will. Here we have my black pagoda lipstick plant. You all know how much I like absolutely adore this plant. The back sides are incredible. Look at this. And I have gotten flowers from her already. So I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a good summer together. <laughs> Here, <laughs> this plant cracks me up because I made an overrated video and I put this plant on it because there was like no variegation. Then she put out this leaf and then I was like, oh my God, I take it back. This plant is actually amazing and puts out lots of variegation. And then this is, <laughs> This is it. This was like the next leaf. So I think that plant, I can safely say, is reverted or reverting, but I'm gonna love her nonetheless. Oh, it's a Syngodium army. I don't think I said that, but we still love her. We still love her. Down here, okay, I really don't know how to do these. We have the Philodendron Brazil. I think eventually I actually wanna take the pole out and let her trail down, but for now, as like a little bit of a space saver, she is staked up and I kind of just like chop her when she gets to the top. You'll see some of the propagations I have later. Here we have, oh, wait a second. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Oh my God. Ah, look at this. This is my bat flower plant and I was gonna talk about the foliage and how bad luck I have with the flowers, but there's a new flower coming in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Maybe it's the liquid dirt. Anyway, even without the flower, this plant is beautiful because these leaves are so beautiful and large and green. Look at this thing, so beautiful. But this flower, I'm so excited. I, I had no idea. Look at it. Oh my God, fingers crossed. <laughs> this is not a drill, people. Oh my God, okay. Over here, we have my Schifflera arboricola. Pick her up. Very cute plant, super underrated in my opinion. Then we have a super crusty uh, rubber tree. I am so sorry to this plant for letting it get so unbelievably dusty, but these like paddle leaves just collect dust so fast. It's so hard to keep up, but she's, I just, I love her anyway. And I'm excited to see her grow some more this season. I did down pot her a little bit. Her roots weren't immaculate, but it is what it is. Okay, we have Miss Syngonium Marie here. Very cute plant. Super, super bushy, like large and in charge. We have lots of new growth. This is an extremely healthy Syngonium. I love this plant so much. She has never let me down. Look at all those different colors. I love this plant. How many times am I gonna say that in this video? All right, zooming out a little bit, we have my Cebu Blue. Also doing well, like slow start. Wasn't sure if it was gonna pull through, but it's doing really well and actually slowly making her way up the moss pole with some decent sized leaves. I mean, they're not huge, but you know. I love you. Here we have my coffee plant, which we all know how much I love my coffee plant. She is precious. Let me get some light on her. She is amazing. Look at these new leaves. They're so shiny and big. Oh my gosh. I feel like this video is gonna turn into like an ad for liquid or something because I am just amazed by all of this new growth. And like, I don't know if it's just summer or if liquid is actually working its magic, but this plant is doing amazing. Look how full this thing is. Wow. I love doing these tours because I get to like see my plants a little bit closer than I do on like a daily basis. So I'm discovering things with you all as well. All right, over here we have the Philodendron Salome or Philodendron Hope or Philodendron Thematophyllum or no, Thematophyllum by Penifolium or whatever. Sorry. This is the newest leaf. 
The new leaves like start out kind of small like this, but then they do get to full size like that. And then eventually they even get more crinkly like this. Sorry, this is a little bit dark, but I wanna show you like the three stages. We kind of like squeeze in over here. <laughs> Maybe I should just back up. I don't know how to fully show how amazing my Monstera Deliciosa is, but she is amazing. This new leaf and this new leaf have me so excited for the summer because yes, I have holes now. These are the first leaves with holes. So I'm, I always had slits, but never holes. And I've been trying to rotate her a little bit because she does get a little bit lopsided. And the aerial roots, like, oh my God, amazing. I love her. I'm definitely gonna have to repot her that this summer. That's gonna be a lot. Okay, and then before we get to another good and planty star, we have to talk about the ZZ Raven. So dusty. Oh no, no. <laughs> We're gonna put you back. And then a huge star of the channel is this five foot tall philodendron micans. I've talked about her so much. She has a whole video <laughs> dedicated to her care, like what she needs, but this plant is still doing really well. Recently, I did uh, tie up the new growth points back to the pole because it was kind of growing off. So you can see here. Ooh, uh, we have this happening. That's gonna be a nice leaf, I think. So cute. I've been trying to uh, rotate her more because with the summer now, the sun is a lot brighter. So I don't, wanna, I don't wanna burn her too much. Like you can see here, she's a little burnt. Yeah, and you can like see it here with the spots. She's a little burnt, but we're just gonna keep rotating and like hopefully I don't have to move her. Okay, and lastly over here, we have a bunch of Tradescantia Zebrina cuttings and doing horrible. like. I am not filling the water where it needs to be. This always gets pushed on my to-do list because they just grow no matter what. Like there's not even water touching the roots and they're still growing. So that's what it is. I think I have a link to this somewhere. Like the prop station. I love this prop station. It's so cute. Okay, and that's pretty much it for over here. I'm gonna try to back out without like hurting myself or the plants. Those were all of the plants over here. And now we're gonna kind of pivot and do these cute little plants. First, let's start with the spider plant. This is my biggest spider plant in my collection and she's doing super well. Uh, she's clearly a bit thirsty, but other than that, she's fine. Here we have my Aglionema wishes with two little flowers on the way. Here's one. Where's the other one? Oh, here's the other one. This one looks a little funny, but whatever. Super cute. I need to clean her leaves though. Oh my god, how many times how many times am I gonna say that? Super cute, but I have to clean her. My Tradescantia purple purple something. <laughs> you remind you all remind me every single time what it's called, but I always forget. Uh I kind of let her get bald on the top, like it's hard to avoid, and then I'm just letting her do literally whatever she wants. Like if that's what feels good for her. That's what we're gonna do. So that's what's happening there. My Raphidaphra tetrasperma that I gave a good chop to recently is starting to grow back. You can see here, this is the new leaf. I'm excited about that. Plants are amazing. And then, oh my God, of course, we had to talk about my Syngonium albo, like literally my favorite plant ever. We have a few cuttings on the bottom. Okay, Aglaonema. We have a few uh, cuttings on the bottom that are starting to put out new growth and I think we'll slowly vine up this spring. So that's exciting. This leaf was kind of small. I don't know what happened there. But if we follow it all the way up, look it! Oh my God, I love these like top leaves. Surprisingly not burning under this really strong light but the newest leaves are beautiful and really like heavily variegated look at that oh my god that's amazing this is a green leaf but that just goes to show you that variegation could come back you don't have to chop it right away 
Um, the roots are starting to go into the pole a little bit and we have new growth. So hopefully I can propagate her soon. That would be exciting. Justina Marginata tricolor up there before I forget. She just kind of hangs out and she has a grow light there because if she didn't have that, <laughs> she would get no light. And she's actually doing really well. She actually grew in a few inches and I think she's ready for a repot. So that's exciting. Ginormous, beautiful peace lily. No flowers yet this spring. I think it's because this plant is a little bit in like too low of light for flowers compared to where she was last summer, but she's still really healthy and pushing out a lot of new foliage. So I'm kind of fine with it if she uh, goes easy on the flowers this season. And then let's get some light over here. Over here, we have my Sansevieria Laurentii propagation. Yes, this was a propagation and she's doing really well. This is a whole new leaf. We have my, <laughs> oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I, this is like the lucky bamboo and she was not doing well. So I just chopped all of the gross roots off and plopped her in water. I didn't really think that she was gonna put out new roots, but she's not. She is confirming my speculations. So she will probably be compost soon, but I'm letting her like hang out for however long she feels like it. And then right by her, I have my Sansevieria Robusta. I have like, hold on. This little pup is exciting. This whole little baby right here. Maybe I'll transplant her at some point, but I don't think I have to do it yet. Yeah, I think she's fine. Okay, ta-da. All right, and there you have it. That is my full room, <laughs> a huge bulk of my plants. Now I'm gonna take you to the office and I'm gonna show you the place that I have in there. Ready, three, two, one. Okay, so here we are in my Mars Hydro grow tent and I just very recently did a video on these plants so I'm not going to go super in detail with them because I don't want to bore my returning watchers. So here we have the Mykins that I explained is doing super well. These, All of these propagations are all doing pretty much the same. Everyone was yelling at me to put a cover on the props and I did put a cover on the Hoya, the Scandapsis. I'm still a little bit lazy with. This has an exciting update. I actually put it in here because it wasn't doing anything in my room and now I do have a root. So that's exciting. And the subscriber plant actually has a few updates. I didn't catch them in the propagation update video, but look, like it's growing up the pole. I just attached some of the almost like vining trailing bits and it's doing so well. I had some beautiful aerial roots that I kind of encouraged to stick to the moss. So that's going really well. I actually think I will have propagation soon. And then down here, everything is also still pretty much the same. The one big exciting update is this caladium growth point. So I think we're going to have a success in terms of bringing it back from dormancy. So that's fantastic. I'm really happy about that. And I did cut off the philodendron silver sword leaves like I said I would because I think it, I just need to grow it from node. Everything else is pretty much the same in here. Uh, so if you wanna see like more in-depth updates on the propagation tent here, you can go watch that video. Okay, please excuse the purple. I'm gonna try to do this little section a little bit quick. Here we have... <laughs> Here we have this petonia, or not petonia, sorry, polka dot plant. And believe it or not, she's gonna totally bounce back once I water her. I know that seems fake, but I swear that is real. They're just that cranky all the time. Here I have the Syngonium radii cutting that I was super excited about. I have a new leaf. She is probably one of my hardest plants currently, but she's worth it. I love her, she's so pretty. My philodendron melo <laughs> my philodendron melanochrysum new leaf on the way looking cute doing good 
my philodendron silver sword propagation this was a node and all of the leaves are absolutely perfect i am fully emotionally attached to this cutting <laughs> so i don't know if i can like sell it or anything i might just keep it honestly then we have my always recovering philodendron imperial red doing really well we have lots of uh new growth you can see and then real quick Philodendron Brazil propagations, Mikan's propagations, my, oh, my Syngonium Confetti is doing pretty well. And then down here we have my uh, Philodendron Prince of Orange. It absolutely loves the grow tent. Like look at this beautiful color on this leaf. The new growth, the leaves have been so shiny and healthy and happy. Like I am so glad I put it in here for a little bit. And then last but not least in here, we have my Polia peperomoioides. Oh my God, am I saying that correctly? Who knows? She likes the grow tent a lot. You can see her leaves are slowly starting to flatten out, get some color. And we have tons of pups, so that's great. Okay, over here by my like ridiculous amount of laptops, we have a moon cactus that is doing horribly, so we're moving on my Haworthia pup oh my cute little euphorbia i love her she's so pretty my goldfish plant the black gold variety another favorite a random succulent and <laughs> i always get in trouble because i call this the syngonium holly but the syngonium holly has bigger leaves that are a little bit more like distinctly arrowhead shaped whereas these are a little bit rounder so this is some other kind of syngonium it might be like the moonlight i think it might be called but it's definitely like a smaller more compact version i don't think this will vine anytime soon i don't know if you know exactly what syngonium this is please let me know i am aware it's not the holly okay <laughs> but I don't know 100% what it is, so let me know. And up here we have the philodendron, the lemon lime philodendron. Oh, she's so, look at this light for her. She looks good. Ooh. And then up here we have my giant spider plant that I got from the nursery tour a few videos ago, so... <laughs> This is where she's living currently. I have no great space for her. I really bought her for our next apartment and that's not for a few months. So I don't know what to do with her, but she's hanging in there, like definitely going through some acclimation, but I'll try to shine the light better. But all in all, you know, look at these cute little flowers. Oh, I love them. Look at how cute they are. Okay, everyone's working, so I'm trying to be quiet, but up here we have the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. Very extremely dehydrated, but we'll get there. She really likes that spot though. I just need to water her a bit more. Then I have the Philodendron Marble Queen. Look at this. Ooh, beautiful. These plants love the skylight. You can see she's like glowing. I have the abandonment shelf. Here we have one Alocasia Polly, just, just doing her best. Definitely had a bit of a downfall this winter as with most Alocasia because they want to go dormant. So hopefully this spring is good for her. Same, oh, bless you. Same with this Alocasia. You can see it's a bit dark over here. <laughs> And then of course we have the Calathea Musaica, which let me show you in the light. Not super happy, but we do have a few growth points in here. I think you can kind of see them, but <laughs> the mother plant is not too happy with me. So this is like my little guilty shelf. Like I definitely could do better with them, but it is what it is. Those are the other plants. John has some plants in his room too, but we are not going in there because he is in a meeting. 
Okay, and with that being said, honestly, that's pretty much it for all of the plants that I'm able to show you right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my house plants. I had so much fun. It was about time I do a little update, you know? So if you don't subscribe to my channel already and you wanna see more planty content from me, please feel free to do so. Please like this video, comment down below what your favorite plants were hit that notification bell. I always forget to mention that, but that is a super helpful thing for my channel. So if you want to know when my videos come up, go ahead and hit that little bell. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!